In the previous video, we read the poem, If I Were an Apple. And in this poem, we are going to answer some questions about the poem. The first question is, where is the apple? To answer this question, I have to look at the picture and think about the answer. Now, in this picture, the apples are hanging from the tree. So, I will write the answer. The apple is hanging from the tree. Next question is, where is the boy? To answer this question, I will again look at the picture of the tree. In the picture of the tree, the boy is sitting on the branch of the tree. So, my answer is... The boy is sitting on a branch of the tree. The next question is, how can the boy get the apple? To answer this question, I'll have to think of all the different ways the boy could get the apple. The boy could jump and get the apple, but it would be too high for him. The boy could also climb the tree and get the apple. So I will write my answer. The boy can climb the tree to get the apple. The next exercise is fill in the blanks. In this exercise, we have to read the statements and from the two options given here, we have to fill in the blank. Let's do the first one. If I were a bird, I would dash. Would I fly or would I cry? Now, if I was a bird, I would not cry. I would fly. So, I will write the answer fly in the blank given here. Let's read the statement again. If I were a bird, I would fly. Let's do the second one. If I were a bee, I would buzz or chirp. Now, if I was a bee... I would not chirp because birds chirp. I would buzz. So now I will write the answer buzz in the blank given here. Let's read the statement again. If I were a bee, I would buzz. Now let's say these words aloud. Ball. Fall. Call. Now, all these words end with all. They all belong to the all family. Let's say the words again and look at their picture. Ball. This is what a ball looks like. We use a ball to play. Fall. This is what fall looks like. In this picture, the apple is falling. Call. This is what call looks like. In this picture, the man is calling. Let's say the words one more time. Ball, fall, call. Few, new, do. All these words end with you. They all belong to the you family. Now let's say these words again and understand what they mean. Few. Few means less. Like in this picture, there are few biscuits. The next word is mew. The sound that the cat makes is called mew. The next word is dew. The water that settles on an object is called dew. Let's say these words one more time. Few. Mew, dew. Drew, grew, through. All these three words end with ru. They all belong to the ru family. Now let's try to understand these words better by looking at pictures and making sentences. Now all these three words, drew, grew and through, are actions which have been done in the past. For example, drew. The boy drew a picture of a mouse. 
grew. The plant grew from a small sapling into a big plant. Through the man threw a balloon at the tree. Let's say the words one more time. Drew, grew, threw. Ripple, people, apple. All these three words end with pill. They all belong to the pill family. Ripple. Ripples are formed when something touches the water. People. This is what people look like. Apple. This is what apple looks like. Apple is a fruit. Say these words one more time. Ripple, people, apple. The next question is word fun. Fill in the letters to complete the crossword puzzle. Use the pictures as clues to find the fruit. To answer this question, first I have to identify the fruit and then I have to write the spelling of the fruit in the puzzle given here. Let's start with the first one. The first one is an orange. So now I have to look for where do I have to write the spelling of orange. I will look for the number 1. Here is number 1. So here is where I have to write the spelling of orange. Now some letters of the spelling are already given. So I have to find out which letters are not given? I know the spelling of orange is O-R-A-N-G-E. Now, the letters which I already have, I will cut them off. I have O, I have R, I have G and I have E. So now, I have A and N left. So I will write A and N. I get the spelling of orange. Second fruit is grapes. I have to write the spelling of grapes here. I know that the spelling of grapes is G-R-A-P-E-S. Now I already have G A E and S. So I will write R and P. Now let's move on to the third fruit. Now the third fruit is a mango. I know the spelling of mango is M-A-N-G-O. And I already have A, N and O. So I will write M and G and I get the spelling of mango. Now the next fruit is banana. I know the spelling of banana is B-A-N-A-N-A -A -N -A. and I already have A, A, N and A. So I will write B and N and I get the spelling of banana. The next fruit is apple. I know the spelling of apple is A-P-P-L-E and I have A, P and E. So I will write P and L and I get the spelling of apple. The last fruit is a pear. I know the spelling of pear is P-E-A-R and I already have P and R. So I will write E and A and I get the spelling of pear. Now we have come to the end of this video. In this video, we answered questions about the poem, If I Were an Apple.